Let us understand the application of Vita's formula. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a very interesting question, which is based on Vita's formula application. We will take few examples. Here is the very first example. Let P, Q, and R be solutions of the following equation f of x equals to x cube plus 3x square minus x minus 3. When we mean solution, it means this is equal to 0. It is a cubic equation, it will have three roots. Roots could be complex or real. Now, if P, Q, and R are the three roots of this equation, you need to find the sum of these roots, product of these roots, and find P, Q plus Q, R plus R, P, and 1 over P plus 1 over Q plus 1 over R. I like you to use Vita's formula in this particular case and then find the solution. You can always factor find the roots also. The polynomial taken is very simple in that regard. So let's remind you of what beta's formula is. So for any polynomial in general of degree n as shown here, if r1, r2, r3 to rn are the roots of the equation, then sk, the symmetric sum of the roots of function taken k at a time is given as this, right? So that means if all the roots are added up, there's a ratio of leading a n minus 1 over a n with a negative sign, right? So sum of all the roots. And the sum of product of two roots taken at a time will be a n minus 2 divided by a n and so on. The signs alternate. At the end, what you get is the product of all the roots, which is a0, the constant divided by the leading coefficient a n. It will be negative 1 to the power of n. That is, if the polynomial of degree even, then this is positive, otherwise negative. Correct. So, we can actually get the sum using the symmetric sums of the roots. So, with that in mind, I think now clearly you can answer these questions after attending university the winner of this year's certificate of achievement shulik leader award is akshi kandivan <laughs> great our student akshit gets highest marks and the most prestigious shulik leader award you can be there Join our classes and excel. Let's do them one by one. Part A, sum of the roots, right? So now here in this case, we know A3 is 1. Then A2 is equal to 3. A1 is minus 1. And the constant, which is a0, is minus 3, right? So, what are the sum of the roots? Sum of the roots is 3, right? 3 divided by 1. So, sum of the roots is equal to negative sign because it is cubic, right? So, starting, everything is negative. So, it is negative 3. The product of roots is a0, the constant, and the sign will be what? Negative positive, negative, right? Negative of this, so it is negative of negative 3, which is positive 3. Do you see that? The symmetric sum of product of two of these will be pq plus qr plus rp will be the coefficient of x divided by a. So, in this case, it is going to be equal to minus 1. Now, how do you find 1 over P plus 1 over Q plus 1 over R? So, for part D, let's find what is 1 over P. 
plus 1 over q plus 1 over r equals to we can take the LCM, which is PQR, product of roots, and then we have QR plus PR plus PQ, right? So that is a symmetric sum when two of them are multiplied, which is part C. So this is basically ratio of minus 1, which we calculated in part C, over B, which is 3. So, that is negative 1 over 3. Is that clear to you? So, using Vitter's formula, very easily, we can actually find sum of roots, product of roots, and different combinations, right? So, that is how you could do it. Now, you can actually verify the result by finding the real roots, right? Write it in the factored form, correct? and then you will figure it out, correct? So, in general, you should also notice that a cubic equation like x cube plus, let me write bx square plus cx plus d can be actually written as x cube minus sum of roots pqr, right? times x square plus sum of two roots, right? That means PQ plus QR plus RP times X plus the constant will be product of all the roots PQR. Now, this will be negative. So, that will be your general equation. And if you equate it to 0, right? So, that becomes the roots. And that is how you can actually relate them. So, I hope all comes together. Perfect. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.